you hear about how diverse the tropics are your, your whole life, and then you come here and it's just very real. It's just really empowering coming out here into UGA Costa Rica's like living laboratory. The opportunity to be able to come up with your own questions in that environment and then start to figure them out is really valuable. My name is Kip Lacey and I'm studying abroad, UGA Costa Rica, studying Cecropia tree and Azteca ant mutualisms with Audrey and Liz. So the Cecropia tree and the Azteca ant are engaged in a, an obligate mutualism. Well, the, the Azteca ants don't really live in any other kind of tree. And um, the Cecropia trees tend to do better when colonized by the Azteca ants. And that's because the ants will defend the tree from herbivores or epiphytic plants that live on the tree. And in exchange, the Cecropia tree will actually produce a little carbohydrate treat for the ants. So that's what they, that's what they eat. I was really interested in this coming in, but when I got here, I, I noticed that a lot of the Cecropia trees were uncolonized, so I wanted to figure out more about it. The questions that we're asking are, what exactly influences colonization by the ants? And are there correlations between whether or not a tree is colonized and basically how healthy the tree is? So we, we get to each tree, we mark it on our GPS, measure the diameter at breast height, which can be then uh, converted into approximate biomass of the tree. We triangulate height, essentially using the Pythagorean theorem. We count the number of leaf clusters, approximate how many of those leaf cl clusters have uh, damage from herbivory, record the canopy cover below the tree, and determine whether or not the tree has been colonized by ants. If you like knock on a tree, uh, the ants will come crawling out. The tropics are a biodiversity hotspot. A lot of biodiversity occurs with very specialized relationships. So like you have one specific kind of tree, like Cecropia, and you have this one ant that lives on that tree and only in that tree. If you were to, to lose Cecropia trees for some reason, that it doesn't just lose one species, it loses multiple species. So I think it's important to start figuring out answers to some of these questions we have about these mutualisms.